Hi there. I'm going to take the opportunity to do the decay cradle and also try to ta um, tackle down some tasks from the better better on difficulty which are regarding coal damage. Biting coal on your skin task um, requires decay cocoons destroy with coal and biting coal on your skin too. Coal damage dealt to decay enemies. Obviously all the enemies found on the decay cradle are obviously decay enemies so that's the best place to use these weapons. Cross dagger from Halt and Ice Sword from the Ace and Board Normal Mode loot. So I'm going to use the sword when I equip this tire tier 4 chest. It is available to the decay knights. How else will be with the dagger? And I'm going to try to tackle another complete attack. Complete another task which is to eliminate the careers 5. I'm only two decay knights away from completing this task too, so let's go. Pass it for jerky, bandage, bandage, crowd defense, and this for later on to the gatekeeper. Since I'm going to go to the Scarlet Angels camp, I broke my decay samples from the school zone to be mixed up with the loot of the decay cradle and traded for points. So let's go. Second floor first. Hope I don't die. Alright. Stay there, buddy. I'm gonna try this one. Destroy with cold damage. Yeah, it's cool. Die there. Whatever. I didn't notice this one here. I am blind, one of the two. be using my arctic fuel. The bad thing is that I will always get, get poisoned by the by the rats. So basically you know a little bit more food every now and then. The way I see this going to make it with the knife.
got all those traps. I'm gonna use to bit sloppy in my plan but this is a different layout. I'm not used to traps in the I mean I haven't I ne never done a torturous dungeon I'm not used to these things. No excuses but it's a little bit Neo ground for me. Whatever. I might do it. I make it. This one is completed. Damage to the decay.
not the best of runs, but I was trying to make the ice cold, uh, ice cold damage, the cold damage, and the traps are a bit, a bit, a bit in not intimidating to me, but I'm not used to them. I mean, never done Tartarus dungeon, so it's like new ground. I'm trying to tackle different, complete different tasks at the same time. This one was so close. I, I really thought I was going to do all the damage with what I brought. And this one has been completed too. Got to rank 16. Let's check out the rewards. Pants, mushroom fusions and it's to our Lubenia. Not complaining. There they are. Let me check if I hit anything else. Believe it or not, I'm very dorky at this game. Alright. I can complete this one with one of the decay gems on the tree school zone. First floor. I may have a, a, an ice sword now that I remember on the resources. If I do, I will do that task too. Hopefully. Let me check. And the answer is I have the ice bow as an option. Ice sword. Of course, I'm going to finish this right now. Life too. Yeah. This one. Because there you are. Three tasks. Well, I ain't gonna use this for anymore. So for the ones who do, doesn't know this fact, this what? Oh, Lucifer. The okay, what? If you die, you lose everything. I mean, a guy from my group told me that he died and lose two paneers. I don't know why the hell he was carrying two paneers in the first place. <laughs> but it's like. Uh, forsaken dungeons heroic mode. If you die, say goodbye to everything. Better safe than sorry, so try to come with your T4 chest, bronze armor, tier 4 chest, level 4 armor, whatever you want to call it. A good saying is tier 3 boots and the rest level 2, tier 2. provides quite a bit of the um, armor and you will be quite safe.
see if I have a lesser weapon. I have killed Asen 61 times and I only had like 5 or 6 ice orbs. It is that hard to get them. I think I'm gonna spam them here with these bullshit rats. I guess. As you can see I got all the wood, deleted the things that I didn't want, that's it. If you watch it to the end, thanks for watching, until the next video, bye. <coughs> also, something that I didn't realize, or notice, notice, is that <laughs> I went for the 10th time to the any floor of the decay cradle and I also fulfilled this quest. Let's see, yeah, I think I, yeah, I think I'm gonna make it to the 17th floor. Hmm, will I make it? Yep, more rewards, play doctor mask, the designs, and the Templar helmets, awesome, let's take them, that's it, 3, 6, 7, 8, 12 more rows, also this item, this um, trident, I'm not sure if this drops in the second floor of the Tartarus dungeon, I don't think it does, but this is one hell of a weapon, I mean it poisons your enemy, 132 damage, that's almost the highest, not one of the highest damage, a long reach, 2.3 range, and what else I mean, it's like a deadly halberd with poison. These are the type of design that they should drop so you can craft them. <laughs> Let's see today's bonus. Share my wisdom. Uh, I don't feel like leveling up the tanks. I don't know about you guys if you have played um, different type of role playing games, RPGs, whether they are old school or not. Every time that you level up your character, it goes attack, the attack points goes up, the defense, special attack, magic points, health, um, depending on the status of the game that you're playing. And in th this is the only game, well, this is the only game that you... <laughs> I was going to trash talk, but I'm going to stay myself on that. This is the only game that you sweat. Um, you you like you sweat you you sweat tears, blood, and pain, and all the shit to go to the next level. It doesn't mean anything in this game. Leveling up is just it got it gets your your HP up, and that's it. That's it. You don't. 
I don't know. It should have been created differently. I'm not gonna judge it like I'm a know it or know it all. I don't wanna sound sound arrogant, but they should have implemented some type of bonuses that every time you level up you get something. I don't know. One more one more point of health, one more a faster uh, active skill charging uh, I don't know tolers to buy stuff or to recharge your energy stuff like that but leveling up in this game means nothing literally it may save your life if you're running out of healing points and you suddenly give that one last strike and you get your HP up back Stuff like that, but who relies on that? No one. I mean, well, I guess run over. If you if you watch until the end of this video, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye.